Hey, I'm Noah Kravitz, and uh, the website's called Future Smarter. FutureSmarter.com. Go there. Do it now. This is the HTC One, the brand new HTC One. This is the HTC One S. Uh, it's about a year old. I've made a couple of videos about the One, and at least one time, I think more than one time, I've mistakenly referred to it as the One S. Why, you ask? Because, I answer, this was my daily driver for a long time, and I love, love, loves this phone. I love, love, loves this phone. Here's part of why. Let's get rid of the one. What I did was I went ahead and I installed the Pac-Man ROM on it. Now, I actually had been running uh, Cyanogen Mod CM10 for a while, and uh, I wanted to upgrade to Android 4.2 just to check it out, and when I installed the... Uh, the CM10 build with Android 4.2 on it for this device, the HTC One S, also known as the HTC Vill. Um, half of the apps didn't work, it was just a big mess. Also around the same time, a friend of mine who's much smarter than me in general, well, I don't know, is he? Maybe he's not, but he knows a lot more about um, modding phones and custom Android ROMs than I do. He suggested going Pac-Man. So I installed Pac-Man, they had a version running Android 4.2, and uh, here it is, we're running 4.2.2, um, and Pac-Man's kind of a, a mashup of several different, um, several different ROMs, Paranoid Android, AOKP, uh, CyanogenMod, Mod, all that stuff. And so I installed this. I've been using this. Uh, this phone hasn't been my daily driver in a while because, um, it started dropping calls a while ago. This is the international version of the HTC One. Whoops. Been running it on AT&T, uh, so it's not... Um, the AT&T version doesn't have quite the right banding, but I've been using it anyway. Um, and uh, I was working great for a while, and then it started dropping calls. Hard to know if that's because of the network or the phone. I think it's some of both, whatever. Uh, every once in a while, I'd go back to like, oh, maybe it works now. And I'd put my SIM back in it, and I'd use it for, you know, a few days. And then I'd be on some important call that would keep dropping. So... Anyway, uh, that being said, I loaded this up with 422, use it for a little while, uh, but mostly had been using uh, the Samsung GS3, which I have uh, Facebook Home on now. Maybe I'll do a video about chat heads, interesting stuff. Uh, and then I got the one in the in the uh, FedEx, so I've just been using the one. But the, uh, the Pac-Man ROM, really interesting. Um, it's too much for me, personally. All the stuff you can do with it, with uh, all the stuff you can do it with it with the different controls over um, you know the performance control and what's the hybrid options here hybrid properties so you know you can do all the different settings paranoid Android uh, for a while my apps were all shrunk down because I had the UI settings wrong if you actually go to uh, this met this menu here you know, you set your DPI settings and your layout settings, um, and just it, 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 forget customizing things. I just wanted to get it to where, like, Gmail was showing up in the phone layout and not the two-pane tablet layout that made everything way too small for me, because I wear glasses, right? And so, like, you know, ah, I can't tell what's going on. Um, I did manage to make my, uh, clock orange, so yay for me for being a super geek. Uh, you know, you've got your ROM control and, you know, all this stuff you can do with it. Um, I tried changing the LED setting, but, like, my LED is, like, the size of a pinhead on this device. Um, but I was able to get 4.2.2 running. And what I decided is I think I like 4.1 better. I'm sure 4.2 probably performs better than 4.1, and so I'm better off running 4.2. But, um, you know, 4.2's got this just goofy you know, widgets on the home screen thing where you can do multiple home screens, and I don't even know if I have this set up, and I just, I could never, I don't, I'm sure if I took the time to actually read and figure out what's going on, maybe it actually is useful, but I just, it, it keeps just like being an issue for me of like, what am I doing, and I'm scrolling around, and the phone's unlocked when I don't want to, and why do you need multiple lock screens? I may have said home screens before I meant lock screens. Why do you need multiple lock screens with widgets on them? I thought the whole point was that you're lock screen, so you don't unnecessarily do something. That being said, I used to think that, you know, Android was silly, and finally I got on board with, 
you know, all the customization you can do. Although, for me, that was not never about the customization. It was more that I thought Android was ugly. And finally, in, uh, you know, the 4.x era, I've come to, to think Android's much better looking. Um, and the widgets are really a big chunk of why I like Android. Uh, Google Now also. Uh, no cards right now because I haven't been using this phone today. But, you know, uh, the Google Now functionality, you can get your widgets going on. Um, you know, with I have Pulse there, and then on this other screen I have my music control ri widgets, my little Nike Plus widget reminding me to go for a run, which I have been ignoring and instead thinking like, oh, that widget says go eat ice cream. So, you know, whatever. Um, and then the flexibility, uh, the pull-down menus you probably saw on this ROM. Um, you know, you've got a just a bunch of controls here. You can customize a lot of this stuff, flip back and forth. There's your notifications. We'll get rid of those. Um, I just I'm a I'm a big fan now of stock Android, the Jelly Bean era, and it'll be interesting to see you know what Key Lime Pie is, and interesting to see what Apple does if iOS 7 really, uh, as being rumored, is a move to a um, a new kind of more modern, less skeuomorphism influenced. I probably use that word incorrectly, like everybody does. Design. You know, apparently Johnny Ive is doing a. Just a more modern kind of flat design, which should be very interesting. But at any rate, just wanted to show you all, because uh, a few people asked. Been running the Pac-Man ROM. It's been very stable. Um, I just followed the directions online over on XDA, got the appropriate files, flashed them on. I had already done the, uh, unlocked the bootloader here on, uh, I'll take you back into some of these settings while we're looking on. Oh, it's got the Pi thing on it as well, which... I don't use because I don't really know how to, I don't even remember where it is on the lock screen. The Pi menu, I just never, no, I forget where the Pi menu is. Um, anyway, I also like the fact that you can resize the widgets to sizes they weren't supposed to be sized at, which I think is kind of fun, although it's easy to abuse that and then screw everything up. Um, See, I'm back, just hopping from topic to topic like I used to in these videos. The build has been stable. Like I said, I'm pretty sure the drop the drop call things were happening months ago. So I think it's something with the phone, certainly not something with the build. But it's been pretty stable. Once in a while, um, I'll get some weird stuff going on in the status bar or down here on the launch bar. But I get that with uh, with Nova Launcher sometimes on the GS3 anyway, so I don't, I don't know. But all in all, uh, big thumbs up for the C thumbs up for the Pac-Man ROM running on the HTC One S. Uh, and what I want now is I want, yeah, there's the Pi thing. I don't remember how to use the Pi thing. Uh, what I want now is I want the boot animation on Pac-Man. It's pretty fun. I like that. So it's just all this stuff you can do, which I don't need it to do. But, um, if you wanted to, it's there. And that's just, you know, people have been telling me that for years. I finally caught on with Android. Uh, what I want now is I want this phone. I want the rumored M4, which apparently is an HTC One miniature sized. So the HTC One, just love. It, it's super fast, beautiful display, just feels great. The build quality in this phone's amazing. I just want it a little bit smaller. You know, 4.7 inch or 8 inch, whatever it is, 1080p. Shrink it down to a 4.3 inch 720p. And, uh, and I'm in. Uh, a little bit thinner, too, like the One S is. And then you just put stock Android on it. Or, you know, I'll flash it. Um, the days of the unlock bootloader might be over. I don't know. But I got in on unlocking this one while I could. So there you go. A little look at the... Uh... Oh, 10 people added me to something. I don't know what. Is that, one, uh, is that Google Plus? I don't know. Anyway, a look at what I've been rocking. The, uh, the One S with the custom ROM. Moved on to the one with the very uncustom ROM. There you go. FutureSmarter.com is the website. My name is Noah. You didn't even see my face in this video. See you later. Bye bye.